friends, we are back again with another baking video. Disney has so many fantastic foods, primarily desserts um, in terms of what I care about, but they have so many amazing things to eat that we wanted to recreate some of them. And today's recipe is something that is served at Tusker House in Animal Kingdom. And this is banana bread pudding with vanilla, vanilla cream sauce, I think is what it's called. Um, now this recipe comes from the DisneyChef.com. Um, so I did not invent this by any means. I'm not sure if this is the official Disney recipe or if this is just a copycat recipe, but I did get it from the DisneyChef.com. Um, and I learned when I was researching this video, there are tons, like over two dozen, um, different kinds of bread pudding, banana bread pudding served at Disney World. So it took me a while to find this one. Really? In particular. Yes. They have some at Ohana, at the Polynesian. Mm, um, they have okay. some at Cape May Cafe, sure. the Beach Club. They have, I mean, the one that's at Boma at Animal Kingdom Lodge is not the same as the one that's at Tusker House. They're everywhere. Got it. Um, so this is the one that is served at Tusker House. I'm really not a big banana fan, but I absolutely love this and everybody that has been in our group whenever we've gone has always really liked it as well. So is let's this, get started. Uh, we're, we're not getting started. Or is this, I was just gonna make some conversation. Is this your favorite dish at Tusker House? I do like their ketchup, but I don't think that's considered a dish. Their ketchup? Their ketchup is different? That, I'm not sure. That's what I discovered. Like I suddenly, as in like from one moment to the next, decided I really liked ketchup. Like I had no, affinity for ketchup prior to that. I mean, I didn't dislike it. So you rekindled your love for ketchup at Tusker House. Yes, I did. Um, and so I do like that. They have, I mean, their food in general is just very good. I like that they have um, like the low counters for little kids and they have like mini corn dogs down and that's where the ketchup is next to mm -hmm. the mini corn dogs and fries. Um, they have just so many options there. It's such a bummer that it's so expensive because it is a character buffet and it's right and so we haven't been for a while just because it is expensive to eat there but i love that place what were you well, gonna say well you do we do like to try new places um but you interrupted and now i don't remember don't tell me What was yeah. I gonna say? I have no idea. Did I break your brain? Yes, I don't remember. How about we just get back to? Do you want to do the ingredients? Okay, All so right. we will Let's show the you ingredients. what you need for this recipe. Fourteen ounces of cinnamon bread diced into cubes. Twelve ounces of milk. Eight ounces of liquid eggs or egg whites. Four ounces of white sugar. Four ounces of brown sugar one tablespoon cinnamon, one tablespoon vanilla, quarter teaspoon nutmeg, four ounces raisins, four ounces pecans, 10 ripe bananas, melted butter, and three ounces of sanding sugar. Okay, so a couple of things I wanted to mention. Um, I just got pre-made, I was gonna say banana bread, no, pre-made, cinnamon bread from the bakery at our grocery store. I made sure to get bread that was not, um, it did not contain raisins because we're adding raisins and really like nobody likes raisins that much. I also made sure to get golden raisins because I think they're infinitely better than red, purple. Traditional. Dark, dark yes, traditional raisins. Um, in addition, for the bananas, the recipe calls for 10 bananas. These bananas are enormous, so I'm using nine. Also, is anybody else afraid of bananas that are in a bunch because you are very convinced they contain tarantulas? I had to pull them apart. It was really gross. I don't- We're clear. We're, you don't know for sure. Um, anything else? Oh yes, the sanding sugar. So we looked high and low for sanding sugar, and when I finally found it, I was like, eh, I don't really like this kind. It was extra, like, it was very, um, coarse. very coarse. Yeah. And it, in addition to just being coarse, it seemed like it would be very hard. Like it would add a lot of crunch. And I don't recall the recipe at Tusk Girls having that. So 
the recipe has an alternative for that of one part white sugar to one part brown sugar and I will use that if necessary. Um, we'll see if it's just like for a garnish on top, I might not use it. I, it is against my religion to read through the recipe, so I did not do that yet. But we are gonna get started with this and then while this is festering and baking and such, we are- Festering? What are you doing? Let's go to here. Yes, she's not understanding the tripod. Um, while it is festering and baking, we will work on the vanilla sauce. The cinnamon is very fragrant. It is fragrant. Okay. So we are going to start <laughs> with the bananas and... What do we do? Okay. I'm so ready. I have one. You need six. And I should mention the oven is preheated to 350 degrees. Okay, okay. I got six bananas. What okay. do I do? Um, we're going to need two bowls now that I think about it. So grab that white bowl and then I will grab you not... I don't, where is that big flash bowl? Oh, it has dinner right here. Set this up in front of this other camera. You can use this little red bowl. <laughs> little red bowl? And I'll use little the, red bowl. I'll use the white bowl. Okay. okay. So, um, you're going to mash six bananas either by hand or by, by hand? hand. Like just... Well, I mean, I can use probably less, I mean, in a less disgusting manner. Or with a fork. Or it says you can use a fork or an immersion blender. I can feel, I use this? I feel as though that wouldn't work. Forks seem to work best for that type I'll of thing. I'll use forks. We do have an immersion blender, but I don't know. I'll use it. I'm not feeling the immersion blender. No. So you're mashing six bananas. Okay. And I am going to combine everything else. Hang on. People who watch this channel, I know are a very smart bunch. But I hope you know, you always peel bananas this way, right? Yes, apparently that's how monkeys do it. Right, and you know You're why. You're less likely to get... You don't get those stringy things. Look how clean that is. No strings. Oh, there's bruises. I can't look. Just... Oh, it's not bad. All right, two. Oh, mother of Jesus, give me strength. Okay, so eight ounces of liquid eggs. Oh, this is not easy. Well, they're a little on the firm side. They are. Okay, so eight ounces of egg whites here. Scout crunching on our food will be an added. I don't think that we will hear that. But now we talked about it, so it doesn't matter. She's in the other room, but you can hear her. We can hear her in here. Okay. Milk and eggs back in the fridge. Honestly, this bottle of wine, I shouldn't have even put it by. It's. I. I don't drink. I had to put wine in the dinner last night. And it called for a cup. And now we have this like enormous bottle of wine. Oh, maybe I'll pour myself a glass of wine while I make this. And get rid of that. Um, okay. Next, we are gonna add the white sugar and the brown sugar. I lost my sugars. White sugar, brown sugar. I'm sure you'll somehow add your own flair of kitty hair. If you guys have pets, I think you probably, they cannot just be us. That even if we don't let her on the counter, but somehow we'll find like cat hair in our food and it's like, it, it's inevitable. Oh, she goes up here when we're not paying attention. Um, well, I care more that she's, if, so that she's not up here when you're cooking. What is this supposed to look like in the end? Mash. No, those are chunks. Keep mashing, my friend. There's a chunk. You get a chunk. You get a chunk. Um, okay. One tablespoon cinnamon. So is it supposed to be completely smooth? I would say as close like to baby smooth. food. I would say as close to smooth as you can get. Oh my gosh, I can't even fit a half a tablespoon in here. Oh, I can barely fit a teaspoon. Three teaspoons equal a tablespoon. So I'll do three. Is that true? I didn't just make it up. I never knew that. No, that time I made up the truth. Did your kids <clears throat> never say that? That they made up the truth? Yeah. Oh, when I say your kids, he does not... You don't have children, do you? <laughs> <laughs> He's a principal. Assistant principal. He's in charge of everything. He owns a whole school district. 
I own it. I don't know. A tablespoon of vanilla seems like a lot of vanilla. Do you think this is good enough? Yes. All right, One. here's what it looks like. Here, I'll show this camera. Two. You're blocking your thing. Three. <laughs> square paper towel please just one you gotta add that to the ingredients at the beginning one ingredient. square of paper towel it's not an ingredient you just hold it high all right what do we what can i do hang on first we're gonna dry this off because i need okay so open up the nuts and I think we should chop them a little bit smaller because they're pretty large yet. So I'm adding one teaspoon of nutmeg and I drop, dropped, I dried off the measuring spoon just because it was wet from the vanilla. We're using all these? Yeah, I just said chop it up though. Yeah. But, I will. Oh, I thought you were dumping them here. No. No, yes, we are using all of them. We need all four ounces. I didn't need to get so aggressive. I apologize. You chop them up for us! Chop, chop, chop! Let's get this out of the way. I'm not known for my. I was gonna say, nice maybe skills. I should be doing that. So while he's chopping up the pecans, I'm going to add the four ounces of raisins. Separated raisins to milk. Uh, in case it weren't painfully obvious, we've never made this before. Well, that's the point. So we're trying out all these Disney recipes and we're... Yeah, that is the point. Yeah. Okay, so combine all other ingredients aside from the bread, except for the bananas and sanding sugar. So I have cinnamon, vanilla, nutmeg, raisins, you're, you're doing the pecans. Mm -hmm. um, it says melted butter. It doesn't say how much. So then it says. <laughs> really? Yeah, mash six bananas either by hand with a fork or immersion blender, add to the liquid, slice remaining bananas, and toss with bread squares in the pan. Pour egg mixture over the bread and mix until raisins and pecans are evenly distributed. How fine are you looking for for these nuts? Is that good enough? Or? Um, I would give it a couple more passes. So, how are we feeling about this melted butter situation? This really smells good chopping these pecans. It's like, you can smell the oils. Nuts. The nuts what are you asking it? me? What are we doing about this? I think you're probably smelling the nutmeg and cinnamon. Um, oh, I am. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was kind of surprised with how these smelled when you're chopping. <laughs> What are That's we doing nutmeg. about the nut situation? It says. Melt what do you mean? What are we doing about the nut situation? Oh my God! Focus. We're chopping. Ah, it. No, the melted floor. butter. What? Where did you go? What is going on? My nuts fell on the floor. All right. Can what are you asking me about the nuts? Let's no the butter. Let's make a decision about this once and for all. Okay. It doesn't say how much. It just says melted butter. Oh, found it. Okay, so the directions are a little confusing. They address the melted butter later on. So when they say combine everything, it's a lie. They made up a lie. They did not make up the truth. Okay, that's good enough. I'm done. Okay. Um, add the nuts to here. So you did six bananas, so we should have four more hidden. <sighs> They're in there, sort of. It's fine. I didn't just wash the floor on my hands and knees yesterday. Okay, that's a little dramatic. I I only washed the floor well, on my hands. I I did, but not the whole floor. I just did like a, like the high traffic area around the island because that is the worst part. And I will do the rest with a mop before I die. That's why the. I just got really thirsty. We're super professional. I'm leaving to address the cat. Mm -hmm. You are a member of the 
is family. This is just us. This is what you get. If you don't like it, don't watch. Okay, we're becoming aggressive and like angry. I mean, thank you for watching. <laughs> okay, now. We hope you like us for who we are. <laughs> okay, but you have to bring that cutting board and knife back because now we have to slice up the remaining bananas. Okay. So we are supposed to slice up four bananas. Like I said, because they're big, we are going to just slice up three. Are we okay that there's nut dust on here? Or do you want me to wipe off the nut dust? We're gonna get demonetized. I. No, leave the nut dust. Thank it's, you. It's all fine. It's all getting mixed in there. Uh, it'll look being inappropriate. It'll look nicer now mixed. than when it comes out. So we're slicing these up into like what, like coins? Um. Yes. Okay. We want some Three serious banana coinage. Yes. Um. And then toss with the bread squares in the baking pan. Okay. And then we put this over it, and then we let it fester for 20 to 30 minutes. It doesn't really say fester. I'm adding my own flavor, okay? I feel like fester is not a word you use in general, like food preparation, speaking of profession. No, but I like to use it in the medical Why am I? profession. I can't decide if I'm going to it now. Never mind. I like to use it in the medical profession when discussing wounds. Wounds? Like injuries? Yeah, they fester. Wait, I'm confused. Where is the other bananas? Where do the other bananas go? In? Oh! Well, we used all the bananas. No, what are you talking about? No, they go in here. The mashed bananas I'm going to add to our liquid and nut mixture. And then the, these that I just sliced up go into this. Yes. With the bread. So, so I realize them. I'm doing this off camera, but this. No, yeah, I'll do this on camera. Right. So this gets mixed with this. You're the star of the show. Thank you. I definitely should be the star of a cooking show. That's you're, what I'm um, going for. Do you feel like you're in show business? Uh, you know. Okay. <laughs> um, all right, so this is mixed in with this. Indeed. That's mixed in with that. You want to show the camera? That looks well, not great. No, but I'm going to get a whisk first. Give my regards to Broadway. Give my regards to Broadway. So I'll be there long. We were in New York City last October for a long weekend, like, Wednesday to Saturday, something like that. We got in very late Wednesday night, like probably early Thursday morning. And from that time until we left, I sang show tunes applicable to New York. Do you concur? That that happened? Yes. It did happen. It was... I it, learned most of the words it was at least. A, yeah, it was a fun part of that trip. You singing show tunes the whole time. And then I would like tiny sing to myself and then there'd be a two, three, four, and then like some of these and... <laughs> I'm actually very introverted. Nobody believes it, but I really am. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's still some banana chunkage. I think it'll be fine. I think it'll dissolve and melt and it'll be just great. Yeah. So this yeah. is what the mixture looks like. So now we are going to pour this over that. Hit it. Okay, I said hit it, so like, but I'm, I know, but like. The people want to see. The energy you're bringing does not apply, like. Mm -hmm. The people want to see though. All right, so here we go. Whoa, whoa. What is going on? Why are you having like an accident? I poured it faster than I intended, but it worked out fine. All right, so then do we want to like even this out a little I'm bit? Confused I'm going to even this out. All the raisins are in one spot. So we're going to just make that make that more more and mix. consistent. Yes, and mix. You can mix it. So oh, you can, you can like, yeah. oh, we're going to get right in there and talk. Okay. We are going to get right in there. It says um, pour mi egg mixture over the bread and mix until raisins and pecans are evenly distributed. Okay. Let's pecans, pecans. Let's distribute the pecans. 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 Nobody says pecans. We do. Are we not supposed to say that alone? Well, I think we made that up for well, ourselves. So some people say that. We are those two. people. Yeah, well, two, two is some. Them, and it's really just kind of more you. Um, Don't you even with me. I'm pretty sure you do too. Okay. All right. So. All right. I think that's. You got all the corners and everything? Yeah, I think we're good. It looks thoroughly disgusting. Perfect. Yeah, wouldn't oh. want to eat it right this second. Okay, so now we're going to set it aside to fester for 20 it's minutes. It's not fester. What is the word that they use in the recipe? Set aside for 20 to 30 minutes. 
It doesn't say what it's doing. It's fest. Let's look up that word. Okay, so set this aside and then we'll work on. I'm sure if you look up the word fester, the word pus will be in there somewhere. All right, setting this aside and then what? what are we working on? Um, well, when it's ready to bake, we're going to brush the top with melted butter and dust with sanding sugar. So that's where the sanding sugar comes in. Yeah. I think I'm just going to sprinkle it with. I will use um, caster sugar. That's what I'll use. So okay. it has to fester for 20 minutes then. So we're going to clean up a bit and then we will come back after 20 minutes, finish off the top and stick it in the oven. Yep. And break. Okay, we're back. It has been somewhere between 15 and 20 minutes, I would say. This looks nice and soggy and even more disgusting than it did before. Um, I melted some butter. It just said melted butter. The recipe did not say how much. I eyeballed approximately two tablespoons of room temperature butter and microwaved it for 25 seconds. Um, and then you're supposed to put it on with a brush. So while I do that, tell them what you did with that. This is equal parts baker sugar or caster sugar, you called it? Super fine, yeah. Super fine I sugar. I think it's called caster sugar, like more in the UK to my knowledge, or maybe oh, okay. everywhere else in the world. Um, equal parts that and brown sugar. So this is just enough to sprinkle over the top once you have the butter on there. Why don't you go behind me on my left and then you can start working because this is a big pan. And I need a nap. We are training for the Disney Princess Half Marathon, which is in February. And um, we do uh, our long run, which increases in distance, like every time we do it. Um, we're, we do it every other weekend and we're doing that tonight. Uh, tonight it's like eight and a quarter miles. So until we get to close to the half marathon distance of 13.1. So we can use this to carb up. I get half, you get half. Sounds good. I finished. Did you, you, yeah. Okay. Should I put more on or um, I would just I have too much? go the other way going on these edges. And then other than that, I think it's fine. I don't feel like you have to use it, I would say. Because we didn't measure out in ounces. The recipe did say three. The recipe did say three oh. ounces of total. If you use like sanding sugar. And we just eyeballed that too. So we're going to stick this in the oven. And it says that it should bake from, bake until done, anywhere from 25. Bake until done. Yeah, bake in 350 degree oven until done, anywhere from 25 minutes to 45 minutes, depending on the size of baking pan. Bread pudding is done when it is puffed and looks rounded. So we're gonna come right. back in 20 minutes and start the vanilla sauce because that should take, I don't know, 10-ish minutes. We'll be back. All right, we're back. We're gonna be we like working back here. So I'm just gonna do selfie, selfie video, eating an egg Less right now. Less professional than we normally Right, do. because that is what we're known for when we do these cooking videos. So there's videos. a couple of, <coughs> there's um, a couple of minutes left on the bread pudding until it gets to 25 minutes. I've not checked on it yet. Here, let's turn the light on and see. Um, let's see what we got, huh? You can't see, you can't tell. You can't tell. No. Um, I will check in three minutes. You're not supposed to open the door if you can avoid it. So we'll check in a couple of minutes. Okay. But right now I have butter melting on the stove top. Um, let's see. It says how much? Four tablespoons of butter. I addled it. Um, so it says over medium heat, melt the butter, and then you add four tablespoons of flour. So I have it measured out here. I'm really shaky. I'm using an unnecessarily large burner just so the, the appropriate size burner is in the back and you just wouldn't be able to see as well. Right. Um, so I'll break that up a little bit. This is just the butter. And then once this is melted, I'll add the flour to make a roux. Ooh, we're making a roux. Well, I am. You're supervising. I'm really excited. I hope this tastes like Tusker Hoses. It's almost... It's been so long since we've been there, I can barely remember their bread pudding. It hasn't been that long, but... How long do you think it's been? It's been a couple of years. I was gonna say, so, it's been a I while. Mean, right, in terms of like remembering Hello. what a food tastes like. Um. Okay, now I'm going to sprinkle in the flour 
and we have to make sure to Ooh, I'm gonna do this like overhead just like a cooking show you have to make sure to thoroughly cook the flour otherwise it will taste like raw flour so I eyeballed the butter and I measured the sugar something that I noticed before I even started was some of the measurements in this recipe are in like ounces and then some are in cups. And really? Yes. That's in, interesting. It's kind of stressful for me. Hmm. Okay. So we are going to let this, it's nice and smooth yep. actually. Looks like the timer's ticking down here on the... It's ticking down? She's ticking down? Yep. <laughs> okay. Um, so we'll check that and then cook until thickened into a roux. Then you add the remaining ingredients. So... All right. You want to check the pudding while I stir. Oh, I don't know how to. Okay, here, we're going to give this a shot. Oh, okay, you're checking it. You seem to panic. I, I don't have enough hands. I'm the cameraman at this point. Well, it says they should be. Looks pretty much exactly the same. And rounded. Mm, Why didn't you get me a fork? Not how I would describe it. Give me a fork so I can see how raw it seems on the inside. A fork. Oh, it's firmer than one would expect. Okay. Should we just go with it? No, I'll put it back it's in. It's not like if it's not cooked, it's like there's any ingredients in there that would be The eggs are the raw. Liquid, the liquid egg whites are... Well, and for them to bake for 20 minutes, I'm sure they're fine. Well, but it's so thick. But, okay, my executive decision was I'm setting the timer for another 10 minutes, um, and then we'll check again after that. I don't, I don't think it'll over cook in that amount of time. Okay, so now we have to add the rest of the ingredients here to our vanilla sauce. So, the next ingredient, um, I did the butter and the flour. Now I need to add three quarters of a cup of sugar. This is just three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar. It's turning into less of a sauce and more of a sand after the sugar. Well... I have to add the liquid. Okay. Oh, man. Man overboard. Um, okay. So then we add... Um, in here, I mixed together already one and a quarter cups of milk and one cup of whipping cream. I may regret doing this all at once. We'll see. I wonder if it would have been better to do it in stages. We'll find out. If I find the flour and sugar is leaving lumps, I can always put an immersion blender in it. We'll see. Seems like it should melt down though. Yeah, it seems pretty dissolved already, yeah. actually. Yeah, not bad. Okay, so... You want me to keep stirring that? Okay. Um, I can do that. All right, here we go. So now we have to add in the rest of the ingredients. We have one egg beaten. Beaten? Like, not beaten, but beaten. Well, if you say beaten, that's like B-A-T... No. Yes, B A T N D. Beaten. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, so we're still mixing that in. Oh, it's thickening up nicely. Seems to be. I'm my camera, sure to my camera work is poor at best here. Cook it slowly so that we don't end up with scrambled eggs. Um, and because the recipe calls for vanilla paste, but I cannot find that anywhere, so it did say you could substitute vanilla extract. So, one tablespoon of vanilla extract. This is a lot of vanilla in this recipe. Vanilla. Isn't that how they would say it in like Britain? Oh, oh! Close enough. 
gonna have to be. <laughs> I wonder how almond extract would taste like that. Probably delicious. I would think so. You could do vanilla or almond sauce, I would think, and it would be just as good. Well, it's just, I mean, it's not even a quarter of a teaspoon, or a quarter of a tablespoon um, short, mm -hmm. so I don't think it would really make that big of a difference. Maybe I'm like an inventive person, and I am going to try a thing. Oh, it smells good. It smells like vanilla. Coconut, peppermint, mm. almond, lemon. I would leave it alone. Mint, it smells good. Raspberry. Stick to the recipe. Hazelnut. Ah, but it was short. Oh, the recipe also. Barely. The, the recipe also did say salt to taste. Salt to taste. Yes. So, I can use my fancy salt. So, I just got this fancy salt. It's like plastic and it has like a pouring thing. Well, it has one. Keeping in mind that this. this is the first time we've ever graduated from the cardboard tube of salt with the little metal spout. We're, That's our taste. I was going to say, salt to taste means like you should taste it for, like, and then salt, but okay. Okay, so keep stirring until thickened. Okay, I'll stir so that you have two hands. Yeah. Had I been smart, I would have turned the camera around instead of doing this in selfie mode, but. We will just keep on, this isn't by we, I mean I, we'll just keep on stirring here until it is thickened and then we will get back to you. All right, we're back on the tripod, so this is slightly more professional. We are. Um... Slightly even more professional. There we go. So we finished the vanilla sauce. Just have a tiny, here we go. Let's do some two, two camera action here. Tiny amount of there vanilla is. sauce. It could be a little sweeter and a little vanilla here, I think. I did taste a little bit off of um, the spatula. Now, this has been bubbling. Like we said, there's nothing in here that is dangerous to eat raw. The liquid egg whites are okay to be eaten raw. Um, these are, we purchased them as such. We didn't like crack eggs. Um, so they, these specific egg whites, I'm not saying you should eat all egg whites raw, um, are okay to eat raw. So I'm questioning if it's done because it is a little soft, but it's pudding. It's supposed to be soft, so yeah, I'm not really sure. I think we're But point being, if it is like underdone, it's not dangerous. I would prefer it to be underdone, since it's not dangerous, than overdone Agreed. and like dried It'll out. Be, yeah, the bread would get dried out really fast because this bread has been cooked once before. Yep. Um, but yeah, it smells good. All right, how do we serve this Very, up? I'm it smells like if you guys have ever dehydrated bananas, um, I dehydrated bananas with cinnamon. That's exactly what this smells like. You're, you're just moving right along. All right, let's, let's eat. Okay. Okay, hang on, let me get a shot. Let me get a shot of this. This is gonna be a little warm. Yeah, let me get a shot of this. Look at that. Oh, you hear that sound? It's like ASMR cooking right there. Is it? Who would the want sound? to listen to that sound? Well, you watch ASMR channels where they cook and it makes sounds like that. Mm, I'm not into the mushy sounds. So. There's a lot of mushy sounds on those channels. Yeah, I don't listen to those. Okay, so that's uh, the pudding part. Yep. Yeah. And now, let me get my little spoon for the sauce. I'm excited about the sauce. That looks like it's going to be... Delicious. It would have been better with, we were like, you guys saw, we were a little bit short of the um, vanilla extract. And I don't want to. It's wanna like a sweet gravy. It does look like the kind of gravy you get on biscuits and gravy. Yes. Yes. I like biscuits and gravy. I know you do. I've never liked it. I don't understand. I've had biscuits and oh. gravy in years, though. I mean, it's terrible. For because me. you found out how bad it is for you. It is. It is like piping hot, as they say. Hopefully, I don't lose my spoon. Yeah. Okay. All right, are you gonna taste? Yes. Hopefully, I don't burn my mouth. I 
How is it? Unclear. I need a second bite. Okay. All right. <laughs> The nutmeg is very prominent. I don't recall the nutmeg being so prominent in the version at Tusker House. I do think it's good. I think I need another bite. Yeah, my, my turn too, I'm gonna try. It's better with the vanilla sauce. I feel as though my first bite, I really had very little vanilla sauce. Oh, you know what I was missing in my first bite it was banana. The second bite I had banana. I also think it would have been better had we chopped up the pecans more. Like you I was chopping and chopping. I know, using the nut grinder, but I'm saying so it would have been more evenly distributed. Yeah. Um, I think that would have I think that would have helped. You know what this would be good for? Easter. As we're filming this, Easter. No, I was saying as we're filming Filming this, <laughs> Thursday is Thanksgiving. This would be a good Thanksgiving dessert. Or Easter. I think it's because of the nutmeg. Easter? Easter, you have to get things that are refreshing and spring-like. No, but... This is like comfort cozy food. We live in Wisconsin. It's still cold here for Easter. I know, but you like got to pretend that spring is coming. There's all the pastel colors and stuff. I think it's a good Easter dish. Okay, well, we have to go finish this off so that we can carve up for our long run tonight. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Very good. I do recommend it. I think a big part of the um, flavor comes from the cinnamon bread, which is going to vary based on um, the kind that you might get. Um, do you think there's enough banana? I do. We used nine instead of 10, and they were big bananas. I think there's enough banana. I'm adding some extra sauce. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will talk to you next time. Bye guys. Bye.